G'day guys, a bit of an update on the gel cell pack. I'm out uh, having a bit of a test in between cells to uh, check and see if they're alright. Most of them are 2.2, 2.25, um, which is good, so they've kind of balanced themselves out with the uh, couple of days of sunshine that they've got. I just had a couple that needed a bit of a boost. This one here, um, this pair here, which I've already done because I did them as a 4 volt pair, uh, there's one there and one there, I don't think that one needed it, I marked it, I've gone through and marked these 12 with uh, the ones that are high and low and all that kind of stuff, so uh, this one here should nearly be ready by now. Oh no, still 2.0. Uh, the lowest one was this one. Uh, yeah, that one. Which was 1.9. But I haven't found any that were crazy high either. So they're allowed to be about 2.45 at full charge. Uh, which is their boost charge voltage. Yeah, most of them are 2.2 and a half inch. So that one's up a bit. Like that. So we're getting within a bit of balance. I'm just using the um, lab power supply to do that. That seems to be working pretty awesome so far. And... Uh, it hasn't been charging pretty much for about two and a half hours, the charge controller. It's only putting in 3.7 amps. Uh, the only load we've got is a phone charger over the other side and a little 3 watt work light, so not really using any power out of them. So I'm trying, just trying to get them to equalise. I'm just speeding the process up a bit by using the little lab power supply. It does it really easily. Um, just to get them all nice and similar. Well, once they're similar, I laugh them. I really like this uh, little digital multimeter that Banggood sent me. It's quite good. The auto ranging's nice, and it's nice to have a, a backlit screen like that instead of just a um, LCD screen. It kind of gains your attention quicker, easier to recognise the numbers, that kind of thing. Um, just because the contrast is opposite, I guess. You're so used to looking at LCD screens for everything. Yeah. Having the contrast backwards is cool. Give you a link to that one. And a link to the uh, video will be at the end of this video, so you can see the original unboxing of it. But, um, yeah, so the pack's coming together slowly. Build some links up and uh, we'll be laughing. I might even... Need to check that measurement because it looks like it could be the same. Close enough. I might rub the links off the other pack for the time being. Just link this one up hard. So then you need two, four, six, eight. Borrow eight links off eight other batteries. And, um,. Link these up, and then I only have to do big terminations for the uh, the ends up here, which you might be able to do with these bus bars up here. And then we'll be laughing. We can put a big inverter on it and put a bit of draw on the pack and see what it does. Hopefully, it uh, hopefully it stands up nicely. These weren't uh, in everyday cycle. These batteries, these were uh, stationary um, backup batteries. For a ginormous, um, like, b backup system, like a UPS kind of thing. Um, so they're not, not cycle batteries, but, uh, yeah, put a few cycles on them, see how they react. And, uh, go from there. Hopefully everything goes well, we'll keep you updated. And, um, we might put a half decent kilowatt hour meter on 
the uh, two and a half thousand watt inverter I've got and um, maybe cook some lunch or something like that with the induction cooktop or a deep fryer or something and uh, show what these things can do. Thanks heaps for watching, catch you on the next video. There'll be a link to the uh, multimeter in the top of the video description if you want one. Helps the channel out a little bit if you do guys, I appreciate it, it doesn't cost you a cent extra. Uh, otherwise there's a bang good shopping link in there. You can go shopping and uh, if, you if you click on that to get to Banggood it will uh, provide you with a, uh, a link to uh, support the channel. Thanks heaps. Merry Christmas everyone. Hope you uh, had a good bit of a celebration. Most of the world should have had Christmas by now. We'll catch you in the next video.